show you a new palette that I got from Morphe, which I don't know how old the palette is. I mean, as far as when they put it out, but I'm going to uh, try this new palette and see how it works. And uh, first, I want to show you. I have two other Morphe palettes. I love these palettes. This one is 35 in. And you can tell I have used that a lot. And I, I like that one. That's all my browns mostly. And then I have a Morphe 35B that I have been using. I've not used it much. But I love the colors. And my newest, newest uh, palette that I got for Morphe is a 35M Boss Mood and I uh, swatched some of them on my arm to see if I was going to like them so a couple of them you can tell I swatched them which it comes with an insert and it shows you the name of each one of these uh, each one of the colors they got some really cute colors like Stroke of Luck, Bossy, Bright Eyes. Uh, this is part matte and part, uh, part uh, it's got glitter in it. Now, I have what little bit I swatched on the palette. Uh, the glitter has a little bit of fallout, not going to lie to you, but I think it's going to be alright because it's just a little bit and it's mostly on here it's not completely on your face but I love these colors let me get you closer so you can see them now Morphe did not sponsor me I've never been sponsored by anything but uh, I love Morphe as you can tell and I think these colors are going to fit me. I wanted some purples and it gave me some purples called Grape Expectations and Daredevil uh, but I'm going to oh, I was going to put my hair back but I don't guess I can. I don't know what down with my deal. But anyway I'm going to start doing my get with me because I don't want this to be too long first now I use a lot of uh, store brand makeup face makeup mostly and then I use the Morphe palettes for my eyeshadow so I'm gonna this is uh, took my glasses off too soon I can't see very good Okay, this is my Hydrating Face Primer by e.l.f. And it's not very expensive. Anything you get for e.l.f. is not too expensive. So, I'm going to put my glasses up here. And it makes your face feel so soft. And it only takes just a little bit. And it just makes your face really pretty. I mean, it feels so good. Although I'm not crazy about the smell of it, sometimes some of that makeup, even if you've not had it very long, it uh, it will uh, start smelling like it's getting old. I forgot to turn my TV down. I'm sorry. I hope you heard everything I said. Okay. We let that soak in. I already pre-moisturized my face. And if you can see, I'm looking down because I have a mirror here. And uh, I also have a magnifying mirror that I have to use for, like, eyeliner because, honey, my eyes ain't very good anymore. They used to be, but they're not. They're not anymore. It's just, uh, it's hard to manage without glasses so that feels like it's already soaked in and now uh, this is a name brand and I use it 
all the time. I've been using it for about four years now. And it is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I had a problem with my makeup uh, melting off in the summertime. And my sister hooked me up to this. And uh, it's, it's expensive. It's in the 30s. But uh, like $30 range. But it's worth it. It really is. So back to my gla uh, back to put my glasses up again. And I just shake it like that. Get some on my finger. And then I start putting it on. My husband says I'm putting on my war paint. But I told him no. I'm an alien and all aliens have to cover their flaws. And this Estee Lauder stuff works good as a uh, like a uh, what do you call it? I'm having problems talking today. Uh, covering up blemishes and I don't know if you noticed but I have rosacea on my face uh, and on my chin. My uh, veins are really starting to pop out and the older I get, the worse I get. Now this is what I use. I use a, uh, I don't see the name of it anymore. I'm sorry, but anyway, this is what I use to put my makeup on with. And uh, it spreads it really good for a person who's got wrinkles and rosacea. This seems to cover it up really good. And uh, I have a few scars on my face from uh, having some precancerous spots uh, froze off. And uh, one of them left like a keloid scar, which I've never had before. And it's right here. You can see it when I'm not wearing makeup real plain. The makeup really does help cover some of it up. And my face demons, one there, and I got some others in other places. But, and I always bring my makeup all the way down to my double chin, which I hate with a passion. But there's not a whole lot I can do about my double chin. I was born with it. My other two sisters have it. It's just, uh, mine's the worst of all of them. But, of course, I weigh more than my sisters do. I weigh, um, I've always been bigger than my other two sisters. My oldest sister was 4 foot 11 and 100 pounds soaking wet. And my baby sister is like 5'3", uh, and she weighs about 130 pounds, somewhere around there. I'm not going to tell you what I weigh. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's not fun to be the overweight one. Okay, now, I think that looks good. Now, I don't set this with powder because my skin is so dry from the rosacea. And when I put powder on, on it to seal it, it uh, starts caking up. And I don't like being caked up. Okay. Now that's all I'm going to do for the face right now. I'm going to let this settle. And I, uh, at the end, I use my uh, spray that keeps it in place, which, oh, Lord, I am so proud that they put something out that helps the makeup stay on you. Next, I'm going to uh, prime my eyes, and I have an e.l.f. eye primer. E.l.f. I keep forgetting. I'm showing it to the, to the mirror, and I should be showing it to you. I don't know if you can see it, but it's e.l.f. and it's, uh, what color is this? It is, I cannot see it. So you just have to check it out yourself. Okay, it has the primer right here on one end. I was thinking there was something else on the other end. 
no, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. This is kind of a... I use my fingers lots of times to put this on. It's Eye Primer by e.l.f. And you know it didn't cost too much if I'm using it. But it works almost as good, if not better, than some of uh, the other primers that I have used for my uh, eyes. And I got my primer on. And it, if you've noticed, I have a lot of wrinkly skin. A lot. I mean, it's just, my skin is getting so thin on my eyelids that whenever I use, like, if I use, uh, uh, like those sponge applicators, the skin just moves back and forth and drives me nuts. Okay, now, got my eye primer on. Oh, I've got to get my eyebrows on. And this is, uh... I can't read it. It looks like the deals come off of it, but it's got it's doing it again. It's a color on one end and a spoolie on the other for your eyebrows. And I don't remember where I bought it. So, and this is where I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass because I can't see very good. And you just flick it up. And I'm not very good at putting uh, eyebrow stuff on. And then you brush it down. And I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I sleep more on one side than I do the other. And my eyebrow hairs try to stay stuck up all the time. And on the one side so I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to stop it from doing that which I think if I just put a piece of tape across it at night before I go to bed it might work now now you can see my eyebrows a little bit well it looks like I got a little hole right there I need to fill in yeah that looks better Okay, does my eyebrows look good? If they don't, I'm sorry. There, at least you can see I have eyebrows. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do now that my primer has been on my uh, eyelids for a while, now we're going to start on my colors. And today I'm wearing blue, and I usually like to uh, use the same colors as what I do on uh, to match my clothes. But today I don't think I'm going to match it too much. I am going to um, I'm going to start with this color, and it's called back to my glasses. It is called Fold. I think it's called Fold. I don't know, but it's a mauve color. Let me show you. It's this one right here. I'm going to use this as my base color. And we're going to see how that looks. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Elf brush that I got and I love this brush and if anybody knows that when you're um, getting old like I am and these brushes they're fairly soft they're um, you know there's a little bit of stiffness in them every once in a while but this uh, this brush, I use it just about for everything. But this is going to be my base color. And so far, I'm loving it. 
And I'm very nervous today for some reason. So if uh, if my hands look shaky, you know why. Okay. And I'm left-handed in case anybody noticed. I make sure my camera doesn't shut off on me. If it does, I'll have to change batteries. I know that. But I've never done a follow me, I mean not a follow me, a uh, get ready with me before, so I try not to swash my brush back and forth like a windshield wiper because when you have crepey skin on your eyelids, it makes it thicker in some places and thinner in others. And you can plainly see that's what it's doing. Especially when it's got a lot of pigment to it. Sometimes it'll pick up that pigment. Okay. One eye always looks better than the other. And that, I don't know why, but it does. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can. If you can't, I'm sorry. That one always, my left one always looks good, and my right one doesn't, and that's because I think I'm left-handed. And so I do the left eye a little better than I do the right eye. But you know, sometimes when you make mistakes uh, with makeup, you can always fix it. Okay, let's see. Now, my next color I'm going to use is... I'm going to try this, uh, let's see here, I'm going to get up by my eyebrows with this light color. This is the first color on the palette and it's very pretty and shiny as you can see. You could even use this as your highlight on your cheeks if you wanted to because it is so pigmented that you can really it really makes my eyebrows pop and for first time using it I think it looks really good and I'm just barely tapping my brush into the palette because it seems to be helping and uh, let's see what other color can I use to go with that. I need um, I need some outer color. I'm going to try I don't even think I showed you what one. I, maybe I did. I'm going to try to put this this is called what's this called? One, two, three, four. It is called Powder Powder Slayer, it says. I'm going to put this, that this color right here. I'm going to put this on the outside edges of my, uh, and if you can do it like this, it helps when you if you don't want to wear eyeliner or anything else. See, it kind of works like an eyeliner. Can you see how it's going up? And I haven't even put any eyeliner on, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put any eyeliner on, but I'll see how it looks and decide then oh, this one I do the same thing oh I forgot to show you my brush I'm using I'm using an angled brush which that helps me get my angle and uh, I don't I don't see a name on there for me to tell you what where the brush came from but 
and I've got one eye that droops lower than the other eye, which really irritates me. And I try to get my eyelids as close to, see what I'm saying? This eye is always better than this eye. Now this one I'm going to have to blend out. And this is a Morphe brush, or not Morphe, I'm sorry. It's an Elm, Elm. it's an Elf, I'm sorry. It's an Elf brush. And it's just a little old fluffy thing. And it helps to uh, just barely uh, move, what do you call it? It helps to, uh, I can't think what I'm trying to say. It helps to move the makeup anyway. It, feathers it out a little so it doesn't look so bad. Now see, the one eye looks good and the other eye doesn't. And I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to try to fix it. I can't seem to get that corner just the way I want it. And see, when you have these crepey eyes, it's better to pat the makeup on than to uh, than to for, uh, squish it. Now that, that still doesn't look very good. What is going on? I've got to try something else because that's I'm going to go back into my uh, original color, my base coat. And I'm going to try to fix this so it looks a little better. And see, I'm doing what I said not to do, but I am trying to fix this eye. And sometimes if you rub your... I do this lots of times, and it helps to drag my makeup up to where I want it. Now that looks a little better. That looks a little better. Okay, now I am going to um, put on some eyeliner, which what the eyeliner I'm going to use is I'm going to use a color in my palette for my eyeliner because sometimes the powder works as good as regular eyeliner. And it stays all day once I put my staying spray on afterwards. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to try this this blue right here. If I don't like it, well, I'm stuck with it for the day. But I'm going to use it for my eyeliner. And we'll see how it turns out. Most people just use black. But I like to mix up the colors. So let's try it. And I have to use my magnifying glass for this. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. Uh-oh, we got fallout. Put too much on there. And when I get fallout, the thing I do is I take my big brush, my big fluffy brush, and I just flick it off. And if it doesn't come off very good, I'll have to clean that up with some more foundation. But that's okay. Now, I think this blue is going to look very pretty on here. You can't even hardly tell it's not black. And then I'm going to uh, put this blue as the under eye color and hope that this doesn't uh, hope that it doesn't bleed a lot. Yeah, I got too much. So, like with the other thing, if you get too much, get your brush 
and just my under eye it has doesn't have the crepiness like my lid does can you see that I think it's looking better yes it see how it opened my eye up this one compared to this one and I have such saggy eyelids that it really is helping so I'm going to go to the uh, and you can see where I brought it up to give me a little bit of a wing and even though it's powder you can't really tell that it is powder I mean it looks like and then I look like this a little bit of more there to open my eye up because like I said I have such a droopy skin now how does that look I think it's looking pretty good if you ask me okay now I'm gonna go to the other side and please forgive me from magnifying glass but I can't see very good so I have to use something so and I only tried to put the powder sometimes the eyeliner from the middle of the eye out and I tried to make me a crease Sorry about that. Uh, this is my second record or my yeah, second recording. Sorry about that. My uh, camera shut off on me. My battery went dead, so I had to get another battery. But I haven't done anything else to my face since you saw me last. And I'm sorry about the beginning of this and through most of the first half that you can only see about here up. I thought I had my camera setting where you could see like from here up and I didn't and so I'm sorry I hope you saw what I was doing to my eyelids that's the main thing anyway is your eyes and uh, I love to make my eyes look pretty so I've got my eyeliner on as you can see I went ahead and I was finishing that side or the other side whenever I realized that my camera shut off so now since I've got my eyeshadow on the way I want it, which this side never looks good, and this side always looks better. I don't know why. But anyway, now I'm going to uh, curl my eyelashes, and I have a regular eyelash curler from e.l.f. Uh, I do not do my eyelashes well because they are long they're not real thick but they are long and uh, they like to grow straight so I I've used an eyelash curler since I was 12 and 13 years old and I cannot do my eyelashes without an eyelash curler so uh, I see I have some fallout I'm gonna brush that off which I'm gonna clean that up some after I do my eyelashes because and I'm sorry, like I said, I have to use a magnifying glass along with my mirror that is down here. So if you keep seeing me looking down, you'll know it's because I'm looking at my mirror to check out my progress. And so now we're going for the eyes. And oh, I pinched my skin. That's what happens when you get crepey eyelid skin. You can pinch it with your eyelash curler if you're not careful. Hold it for a little while, make sure it's nice and curled, and then open it up. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean that up with some eyelash stuff. Boy, I've got a lot of fallout on here from the black. I mean the blue, not the, the black. The navy blue that I put on as eyeliner, it gave me some fallout. And so I want you to be aware of that. Some Morphe colors give a little fallout and some don't. And apparently this one does. The others didn't. All the other colors I've used. So crimp your eyelashes. A good, I'd say 20 to 30 seconds. 
because I like to get my eyelashes really up there since they are longer and I am using the old tried and true this is a uh, let me see what the name of it is. Great Lash by Maybelline. And I have used this mascara off and on since I was like 12 or 13 years old. Pink and green bottle, you always know, but it's waterproof. And it is the only waterproof that I have found that actually is full waterproof. Everything I have seen on there, on um, I've tried, I couldn't tell you how many uh, mascaras I have tried through the years. Some of them that really give you pretty lashes but that it comes off. It says it's smear proof. I have not found one that was not smear proof except for this one. And so this is what I'm using. And I will have to use my magnifying glass again because I cannot see very well. The only thing I wish they would do is give us a bigger brush than this for this type of uh, mascara for this great lash and if you put your lashes I mean your mascara at the base of your lashes and just kind of wiggle 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 as you go up it pu puts more uh, It puts more product on your lashes. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. Now I will do at least three or four coats of the mascara. I, let, I do one coat and then I let it dry. Then I do, while it's drying, I let the other eye, I do the other eye. So you can see my eyelashes and how long they are once I get this on here. Now I have to say Maybelline Great Lash Maybelline does clump some and if you uh, get very many clumps just use a spoolie and brush it out. But you have to do it while it's still kind of on the wet side because once it dries you can't hardly get a spoolie through it because it dries and stays where it's supposed to stay that's why I like it so here goes my second coat and this is all on the top lashes that I do two and three coats I don't want to look like spider eyes but I do want to look you know uh, look like I have lashes and uh, I have uh, lashes that I can put on but with my eyesight it makes it hard to get it on and I haven't practiced enough with it to uh, put my eyelashes on and I need to practice more and so here is my second coat on the second on the other side I don't do my bottom coat until the last after I get these top ones on here okay now it's starting to look a little better now I'm gonna go in for another dip of my color my lash color wipe off the edge because that's where it tends to clump and then do this again and when I get to the end I try to put most of when I'm on my third coat I try to put most of it at the very end of the lashes to make them look really pretty yeah that's looking lots better and now I'm going to put a little on my bottom see those. I'm still going to have to do some touch-ups because of the fallout. 
but that's all right. Oh man, now look, I made a goof up big time. If you get it wiped off before it dries, you're okay. See, but if you don't, then you're gonna have some problems. But I have a solution for that. And a lot of people don't know that you can buy Now, y'all uh, noticed that I goofed up and I got some uh, black where I didn't want it from my mascara. And I'm going to give you a little tri uh, tip on something that a lot of people don't know. Now, I bought this at Walmart and uh, my sister turned me on to this makeup too. Well, it's a makeup eraser pen is what it's called and it's by Revlon and you can see it has a gold band around it when you take the top off of it you have a little bitty like eraser I mean not well it kind of looks like an eraser or a pencil and what it does is it erases any spots that you goofed up with your mascara or your eyeshadow or whatever but bear in mind when you use this, you use a very, very little bit to take off the spot. And then when you do that, it will take all the makeup off on that little spot. So you'll have to go back in and apply a little bit more uh, shadow or sometimes you have to apply a little bit more mascara where it took it off. And since I've got a goof up right down here, I'm going to... You see what I did? I run it underneath my eyes. Then I get a paper towel. And I wipe that off. To even it out. And uh, I didn't go very close. Because I didn't want all of my eyeliner rubbed off. Now that looks a little even. Or more even. And I'm going to do it on my other side too. To get it more even and what I will have to do is I will have to go back and put some uh, foundation in that area I didn't go all the way to the lash line I just went below it to get some of this off that I made a goof up on so can you see now after you're done with this you take your tissue and you wipe it off so the next time you use it you won't be putting some product back on and you can see these black marks that's where I fixed my mistakes my uh, where I got my mascara too far down and always keep this closed it snaps hard to keep it closed and I've had this for about a year so that means, or maybe even two years. So that means so long as I keep this closed and use just a very little bit, it lasts a long, long time. And this has been a lifesaver. So go buy you some if you can find it. It's from Revlon. Eraser Pen is what it's called. Okay, now I got my eyeliner done. And since I just had to take off some of my... Uh, foundation oops I dropped my glasses some of this foundation I'm gonna have to put some more foundation back on so back to my Estee Lauder because I have to do touch-ups and I'll tell you what if you have veins spider veins on your face this Estee Lauder stuff if you just tap a little bit on it like you would a concealer it covers those spots. I have real bad spang, uh, spider veins because of rosacea. And so I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm going to press that some more to cover up those veins. I have spider veins 
on my nose. And see, I just got one little dab of that, but then I've got to go into this area to uh, put makeup where I took it off. So with this, I'm just going to go right up to where my makeup line is. And this, I'm going to go into where my spider veins are on each side of my nose. Clean up this spot because I want it to be pretty and I don't want people noticing it. And then I just kind of dab it like this because if you swipe it a whole lot, it just takes it right back off. But this Estee Lauder stuff, it's expensive, like I said, about 30 something dollars. But it's all I have been using for foundation for, I'd say, two or three years now. And it doesn't get in the lines of my face too badly, which I love that because, as you know, we're all getting older. And uh, it is getting to where it's hard to put makeup on and not go in your folds. Now, next for my blush. This is called Bare Blusher. It's from, I don't even know what it's from. Ruby Kisses Blusher. And this I got at the Dollar Tree. Can you see those colors? And I love it. It has these colors. You have your uh, lightener, you have your blusher, you have uh, your uh, bronzer, and then you have a little bit of a peachy color. So whatever color you want to use that day, but you'll see when I show you how this looks. Now first I'm going to go in with my bronzer side. And I'm using this brush and uh, I've had this brush for years I don't even know where I got it but it does the job that's what I like so I'm gonna go into the bronzer and I'm gonna put some right about here so it kind of gives me a uh, a shadow and you put it from the corner of your lips to your ear and I don't use a whole lot because this has good pigment I, I tell you I don't know where they got this brand at but I'm loving it and then I do some bronzing down here on my neck because of my Hated, hated, hated uh, double chin. And so I try to blend it all in so it looks, you know, like I did my neck too and not just my, uh, just what you see on my face. Okay, now I go in for uh, the blusher the peachy pinky color and I put that right here whoops I almost got too much see what I said about a lot of pigment for this little bit I mean I barely touched it and I'm going just right above where I put the bronzer now I hope I haven't gotten too much on if I have I'll look like I've been in the Sun all day but I'll use uh, another brush, my big brush, to kind of swirl it around. And I do it across my mouth too. That way I can put some color on my chin to where I don't look like I'm just, you know, sunburned this just helps spread it around to look better and then last but not least 
I take my e.l.f. brush. It's a pink topped brush and it is the softest feeling. You can buy it at uh, the Dollar Tree and you can also buy it at Walmart. It's e.l.f. Let's see here. How's it spelled? I got got to use my glasses. It's wet and wild. No, I'm sorry. It's not e.l.f. It's wet and wild. And I bought that this one at the Dollar Tree but it is so soft so I'm going to dip into I'm going to dip into this frosty look right here and you'll see it doesn't take much it's just and you can see the shine and then I go into this other side and you can see the shine on that Maybe a little bit more. Okay, put a little dab on my nose. A little dab there. A little dab there. Okay. That's all I need of that. Now, for the lips. I have found a lip color that I like and it's from Maybelline, Maybelline New York and it's a matte color, number 15, it's called Lover and this is a pretty color and it's, it, uh, it's super stay and it stays all day or as long as I mean even after I eat I don't have to uh, put a whole lot of color on it or re-add to it is what I should say so this is the color I'm choosing sometimes I use a lip liner sometimes I don't today I don't think I'm going to use a lip liner I'm just going to go right on in it so And it smells good. Now see, I'm, I'm old habit where you rub it. And you can see it is already perking my face up. And then I go in and touch up spots that needs touched up. It's so hard to do when you got shaky hands. It looks like I'm messing up right here, but I have a little scar from a fever blister, and it shows a little bump, a little red spot. Sometimes if I take my finger and spread it, it helps a lot better. Oh, and that is about to conclude this uh, getting ready with me. And this is, if you really like this shade, it is in, uh, tell you again, can't see. It is Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Yes, matte ink. And it will stay on most of the day. And I got this just a couple weeks ago. Okay, now. Okay. Now I'm going to put my headband on. I think I got a little heavy handed with the blush. But that's all right now I'm going to use this long wear gotta get my glasses 
long wear sheer envy setting spray 12 hour wear you can and it's by hard candy you can get this at walmart i got it uh i think it was about seven dollars and i cannot finish my makeup without using my setting spray because that's what keeps it on all day long so I spray my eyes good because that's the part that usually I had the most problems with then I use a fan to dry it and keep my eyes closed the whole time so that setting spray will dry my eyelids to where my uh, shadow will not smudge or budge all day long and it also I think helps keep the lipstick on longer and it feels good on your face because well whenever my eyelids open and close all day long and I have the hooded eyes it starts uh, creasing in the center and this uh, long wear stay helps keep it from creasing so bad that's the only thing I have to usually touch up late in the evening is the crease. And I just go in with the brush and kind of, you know, softly brush it in. And I always have to wear my eyeshadow darker because of my glasses. I get a little heavy handed with it because my glasses get dark with bright lights. They get dark out in the sun and you can't see my makeup very well. And why put it on if you don't want to be seen? So, I hope that you like this getting ready with me. I know it took a long time, and I'm going to have to edit a lot. And my battery died on me three times during this session. So, I'm going to have to get me some new uh, batteries for my camera. But what do you think? Do you think I look good? I hope you do. I love this palette. I would recommend it. Like I said, I don't know how long this palette has been out. But it's been out a while. I think. But I just love these colors. And I mainly want it for the purples. Because it's hard to find good purples. And... Uh, I like the greens and the browns and I have you know the other two palettes that I can go back with I can mix and match all I want but I love this this is uh, 35 M whoops there went my insert 35 M for Morphe palette and I would recommend it it was uh, I think it was like 25 or 27 dollars which is not bad when you get the coverage with the Morphe palette and no this is not sponsored by Morphe but I I love Morphe eyeshadows and I don't know if I'll ever go to anybody else's eyeshadows I might I might try them out but right now I'm loving this so go buy you one I ordered it offline through the Morphe store and that's the best way to get it because if you're ordering it like from Amazon or someplace else, sometimes those are ripoffs. Sometimes you get the right ones, and then other times you can get the fakes. But uh, you have to just live and learn. And so ordering it from the company is so much better, and uh, you can get discounts through there. I think they give you like a 10 or 25% discount for first time buying and uh, so even every little bit counts so go out and buy you a morphe palette i recommend them i would recommend them again i've not found a morphe palette that i haven't liked and i have been using these other two for a couple years now and i don't think i'll ever go back to anything else so if you like my look and i hope you do I like my look. My husband's going to love it. He likes it when I put my makeup on, put my lipstick on, and act like I'm somebody sometimes and not look like an old frumpy housewife all the time. So, and some people say headbands are outdated. I say live your life. Wear what you want to wear. If a little headband looks cute on you, 
wear it. And bye-bye, y'all. And I hope you uh, check out my next video. I'm hoping to get some stuff in and do some more videos. So check back with me. And uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, click that little bell so you can get my notifications when I put up more videos. And you know, my videos, are they range from uh, being addicted to medications, to doing Dollar Tree hauls, to doing Wish. I also do makeup. I did one hair video, which didn't do very good, but hey, I tried. And uh, so if you like this, thank you. Thank you very much, and come back and see me again.